This industry is built on good versus evil. But I don't believe in good versus evil. What I believe in is perspective. You know the old saying, that the greatest trick the devil ever pulled is convincing the world that he didn't exist. Well, David Starr will tell you that he's the import killer and I'm the import now. David Starr will tell you that he has the best interest of the Irish wrestling fans in his heart. But I'm the one that's carried this company. I'm the one that goes to battle for the ODT fans and I'm the one that wears the tricolour on my chest everywhere I go. And he'll just listen Listen the way, listen how Jordan talks. Listen how he talks about his accolades. Listen, just, just hear him out. I want you to. I want you to, to go back and listen to the words that come out of Jordan Devlin's mouth. It's always I, it's always me, and I did this, and I accomplished this, and I made this happen, and it's just not, it's not giving credit where credit's due, is it? It doesn't compute with me when you have somebody who is pretty much carried by Irish wrestling fans showing no gratitude for their support. None whatsoever. He did it on his own, didn't he? It wasn't because of you. Meanwhile, I very much embrace the idea of we, us, and our. Taking what's ours, something that belongs to us, us all doing it together. Not me, it's us. Jordan and OTT have done a great job of ensuring that I'm not portrayed that way. I'm the bad guy. That's so far from the truth. And I wish I could be nice about it. I wish I didn't have to be so militant. But it's impossible to orchestrate revolution while wearing silk gloves. Joining us now is independent professional wrestler David Starr. He's the co-founder of We The Independent. The leader of the big independent movement. Davey Wrestling, champion of the Indies. He calls me Two-Faced. <laughs> you want to hear about Two-Faced? Why don't you ask David Starr how many WWE tryouts he's had? Huh? Why don't you ask David Starr how many emails have gone back and forth between him and WWE? And he cries about begging for contracts. Give me a break, man. This hatred for the big multi-billion dollar company, this, this anger, where do you think that comes from? Jordan represents capitalist structure that seeks to end everything that we all love about professional wrestling. The intimacy of professional wrestling, the, the passion of professional wrestling, because that comes from independent professional wrestling. And that truth is that this match that we have coming up, this championship match, the OTT World Championship match is not just about OTT, it's not just about Irish wrestling, it's about saving professional wrestling. You talk about your indies and you're trying to protect the indies, you want to preserve the indies. I can see you love it, I hope you do because you gotta be on them for the rest of your fucking life. No, I'm not the bad guy. I'm simply the match that ignites the forest. Say we belong to the light, we belong to the thunder. Is this fight for you not just about the friendship that was, not just about the legacy of this series of fights. Is it for you a war of ideology that he's chosen one path and you've chosen another? Is that what this comes down to? Why is one path so accepted? Why am I not an ambassador for this sport, Angus? You're very clear in how you feel about Jordan. You, you wanna, we're talking about facts. What happened the last time David Starr wrestled Jordan Devlin? I tapped out Jordan Devlin. I am here to save independent professional wrestling. Jordan, this is so much bigger than you and me. I am sick with you running your mouth about your little independent movement. October 26th, I'm gonna shut your mouth once and for all. I am now the import killer and you are the import, Jordan. There is only one import killer. The OTT World Championship because I'm fucking destined to. This is going to be a wrestling match. This is going to be a war. Game on, Tony Kelly. The day of wrestling.
reckoning has come. Goosebumps, chills. The time has come for your 50th anniversary. Before they come out, Angus, I want to say to you personally, remain professional, please. David Starr is trying to drag me into this. It's all part of his obfuscation smoke screen. Take a, any attention away from the facts. Take, I'll call it down the middle, don't you take worry. Take your inspiration from me. Remain impartial at all times, and professional. This is it! Stadium. 
the perfect pro wrestling venue. And here we see security already entering the ring to ensure that this all goes off without a hitch. A hell of a lot of security. Well, this is about as hot a feud as you can imagine. Feud, security here is necessary. A security detail, eight or nine deep angles. We want a fair fight, we want it on the right terms. You can feel the atmosphere. You can feel the tension. This is live. Jordan Devlin carrying the hopes and dreams of this company and this country on his shoulders, staring down. David Slayer across the ring from him. What is sat in that crowd with these players in December of 2017, preparing to start the OTT wrestling. And I watched Jordan Devlin, a man I know years. Listen to this. Forget about him. A man I knew years finally reached the top of the mountain. I called him beating Walter. And now this. Your main event of the evening is a singles match set for one fall! One fall! Up for the OTT World Championship. It's like Jonestown in here. Jersey first, the challenger on my left from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. He weighed in this morning on 192 pounds. He is the cream in your coffee. Your favorite wrestlers. They know it all! Butch doesn't even know it all yet! The physical embodiment of charisma! The most entertaining man in professional wrestling! The Bernie Sanders! The Karl Marx t-shirt! The best of the best! Mr. American Rana! JD Wrestling! The great granddad man, a big union man looking down now! The main event! He's really good at Twitter! And he is independent! Of the real import killer! Oh, Butch. You sold your soul, Butch. I just. He has a way, even getting the marks t shirt, of getting a reaction from me. I've never seen anything like this, ever. Tony, I'm going to go out of the ring and I'm going to say it. This crowd is hotter than Devin Walter. In the other way, Angus. Oh, the 
Starr just swinging for the fences now. David Starr does not want to get into a boxing match with Jordan Devlin. Even the symbolism in the tights. Devlin wearing black, the proverbial black hat, and David Starr's wife. Starr wearing white, the proverbial white hatted hero in his story. Oh! Right hook connects! Starr takes off, takes flight, crashes through Jordan Devlin to the concrete floor and just unloads with more right hands. Head first, Starr into Devlin. I said it, this wouldn't be a match, this would be a war. Devlin throwing it all on the line, raining down left hands here. Close fist is trying to open up the face of David Starr. How to describe the absolute energy in this room? I hope it's coming across here because I can feel my heart. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this match. We know how effective Jordan Devlin's striking has become. We know how much he's worked his boxing. We've also seen David Starr come up short against other fighters when he tried to throw hands. I don't know how wise this is from Starr. He needs to get him in and get him on the mat. Oh no! Attempted the power bomb into the seats. Look at this. And Shane's Angus of their match back in February, which started with Devlin tossing Starr into the seats. Neither man holding anything back. Both putting it all on the line. Galore already. Star with the code in the palm of his hand. Oh! Brutal. Devlin split second evasion. Those are plastic folding chairs. Those are solid steel folding chairs. And that's, that's only Angus. That's only talking about the front two rows. Then you hit the tier seating. This atmosphere is wild. There's no way Devlin knew this was happening. We thought it'd be torn, but 90 10 generously. Devlin is a pro. Devlin has done it all around the world. You'd like to think he wouldn't be phased, but it's hard to think that a hometown crowd effectively turning on you. And let's call it for what it is. There's no way that can't get inside your head. Of course, and a match that started. Oh, these are stiff. A match, oh, the elbows. A match that started with best friend David Starr turning on best friend Jordan Devlin. And David Starr's cult of personality has turned it around to be Indy versus signed. Ah, almost landed the Devlin side with a counter from Starr. Stamping down on the sternum. But the boot to the chin knocks Starr off his feet. Gotta watch those up kicks. Shoulder tackle, can't drop him. Oh, look at this arm drag and a beauty into the head scissors. Now this does favor David Starr. Back elbow connects and drops Devlin. Devlin's down. Oh, well, this is a mile a minute, Tony. And Starr launching his own body at Jordan Devlin. I think Starr might have caught some of that middle turnbuckle himself there, but it goes for the cover. One, One count. Send a message, why don't you? Star working on an ankle, taking the base out from Jordan Devlin. A lot of amateur work in the early going here from Star. You saw the headlock takedown. He said a little ankle tweak. Is this the game plan from Star? Wrestle Jordan Devlin into losing the OTT title. Well, if the idea is to play to your strengths, as adept and as skilled as Jordan Devlin is, you got to hand the advantage on the mat to David Star. An incredible collegiate record. He's a freestyle wrestler. All over the armbar here. He needs to get that other leg across, but Devlin shakes it out. I think what Star was going for there is the fingers. I'm right of Devlin. Oh, he's working that wrist all right. I'm trying to work. Man, that's complex. 
course it is, but you can see what he's going for, Angus. David Starr, our Jordan Devlin can't land those combos with no hands. Yeah, we've seen what the four hook combo can do. We saw it drop Walter. Liver, kidney, temple, jaw. We are as stacked a card as you ever had here, Angus. But every one of the 2,000 in attendance tonight bought a ticket for this match. Internationally, this has been the talk of the town. If that's not a total contradiction in terms. No, I get what you're trying to say. This is worldwide. Contained within our little island. The best independent wrestling promotion on the planet. You think how far this goes back? All the way to that match with Russell Pops, Uranagi! Devlin breaking it all out. As I said, back to that singles match at Russell Pops. Hayden from Monsters, that iconic tag against Walter and Low Key. Every story chapter that has happened since. Fans around the world following it minute by minute, match by match, move for move, and strike for strike. Well, your name in the history, Angus. Let's talk about the aptly named Redemption. Where David Starr pulled Fox here in the ring when Devlin and Walter beat because Starr did not want Devlin to be the one to beat Walter. Which ironically led to Devlin beating Walter, which led to this. Story. Stiff shot into the turnbuckle there. A swipe and a miss and a brutal stomp to the face. David Starr stood on the very ramp he walked out of dressed as the Grim Reaper and watched as Devlin listed, lifted that title above his head. Jealousy. Look at how he personally has turned this around. Masterful. Jordan Devlin just slapped a taste out of David Starr's mouth. David Starr, the true puppet master of professional wrestling. Never a truer word spoken, Tony. Have you ever seen a crowd turn? with nothing happening but words. Completely 180. The charisma, the talent, the brimming of potential that is David Starr. Huge suplex from the apron to the inside. One. Man, you want to talk about sending a message? A one count. That's stubbornness. That's pig-headedness. I spoke about David Koresh, about Jonestown, about cult leaders. The National Stadium is in a cult-like state. Boom! The camel clutch of Jordan Devlin. But it's being countered by cheers as well from sections of this crowd. But only sections, Angus. Devlin took that square in the face. Hurt the head of Star also. All rolls through and connects. Heel to skull. I wouldn't like to try and call it which way this might fall. The new champ or retaining, who knows? There's just no possible way of calling it. It hangs in the balance more than anything we've possibly ever called. Devlin just goes for the knee. There you see that freestyle background. Shoots under the hips, up and at the diagonal angle. Ducks the clothesline and lands the head kick. Star woozy. Big hand stancing. These men are so equally matched. Look at Devlin gasping for air. Devlin has cardio for days. But look at Devlin turn to his stomach. There's the veteran instinct. Oh, well, he knows what he's doing all right. Devlin with the sprawl here. There you go. Makes that rope break. The stuff that other people might, oh. just, might just watch and take for granted. Devlin rolling to his stomach so he couldn't be pinned. Making sure he edges ever closer to the bottom rope to break the submission. 
Yeah, but he had a knee to the ribs for his trouble. And now a body shot with the left. Well, there's a reason. Don't think it's world class. In my opinion, we're in the top ten in the world right now. David Starr knows that. And that's why he's concocted this cauldron, this cult. It's anyone's oh, guess. Slingshot cutter from the outside. Covers, middle of the ring. No, only a two count. Not enough to get it done. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Dear God. Suplex to the outside. The exposed concrete floor. Referee not box dies on the control. All men are able to continue. I'm looking for referee, or I should say medic, Claire Duffy to get involved maybe here because both men remain down. And you can see how hesitant Noel Fox is to begin his count that he finally does. This is not good. And what a shame this would be for this to be the way that this match ends. Double count out. Our medic has appeared at ringside. That sounds closer to 50-50 to me. It does, it does now. But I'm getting these fools out of my mind just like you should. And I'm sure Devlin and Star should as well. That's an eight count I think and Devlin has broken it. But Devlin himself may be broken. Both men risking it all. Devlin says count him. Devlin insisting Foxy continues to count. No. No, no insistence on a pinfall or a submission. And Devlin wants to get out of here with the title, Angus. That will tell you exactly how beat up Jordan Devlin is right now. David Starr still not at his feet. Meta Claire Duffy at ringside. Oh, Starr can't make it. He's almost there. If Starr can't answer the count. We're close. He's in. That was 19. I was 19! My word! Devlin is despondent! He thought that was his ticket home! But may I add, David Starr is the one who suplexed him over the top rope. He's putting out so many stops and he almost cost himself the match. Look, and the OTT title. Look at Devlin's eyes. Calling him on. Stalking him. Like a hunter. Of a wounded play. Devin says, let's throw hands. Oh man, I'm ready for this. David Starr does not want to be in a boxing match with Jordan Devlin. Oh, oh Starr, don't Star. let, don't get tricked into it. Oh, rookie, rookie mistake. Don't act like you Oh, he's landed it. Landed beautiful shots to the jaw. Yeah, there you and go. body shots. Chris, clean boxing. Don't act like they care if David Starr's been drawn in. There you, you just showed your colors there. And partial. Oh, full combo! Oh, misses the lap! Oh no! He tagged Devlin! He tagged Devlin and again! They're all landing, Angus! Devlin starts teeing off! Five, six, oh my in god! Devlin got sucked in! Oh, Devlin's busted open! Devlin is busted open! Devlin Starr has opened him up with these right hands! Devlin out and to the concrete floor! A busted open! Bleeding, Jordan Devlin, look at the hands of David Starr. He's cracked open his own hand. Or is it the blood of Jordan Devlin on his hand? It is. It's the blood of Devlin. And he tastes the blood of Jordan Devlin. We, and he likes it. We call this a blood feud. There's your proof. I, I admit it, I am shocked. David Starr landing beautiful right hands on the face of Jordan Devlin. And like the conductor in Carnegie Hall, he tells these people to rise for him, and they do. But his is a symphony of sadism. Devlin catches him, Hangman DDT on the apron. Devlin, bleeding, bloody, battered, but never beaten. The Irish Ace eats a boot to the face. No! Oh! Destroyer off the second! Oh! Lariat from hell! Both men land side by side! I've got to believe! If anyone landed on anybody else's shoulders, then this match was over either way! But 
Devlin open the hard way, as they say. And Angus, whoever wins this contest, it'll be done the hard way. This feud has gone on for a number of years now. It's been intricate. It's been brutal. It's involved Will Osprey. It's involved Walter. But at its core, it's involved these two men, former best friends. Tonight it ends. Tonight the final chapter. And the headbutt from Stark. Oh, what a headbutt from Jordan Devlin. Devlin side connects. That's going to be it. Didn't get all of it. Oh, no, he didn't. Maybe you're right, Tony. Maybe he didn't get all of it. Because David Starr is kicked out. I say kicked out. He has raised one shoulder, one inch off the canvas. But it's enough to keep him alive. It's enough to keep him in this fight. It's enough to keep this storied feud continuing. Devlin didn't get all of it. But Starr got all of the shoulder up. And that's all that matters right now. And Devlin looks out over his own people, chanting for his mortal enemy. And he's got to be asking himself, Angus, what do I have to do? Star catches him. Devlin with an ugly spill. The toll this fight has taken on both fighters. Both men giving their all. Literal blood, sweat and tears. The chants for Devlin, the boos for Devlin. Or are the boos coming for Star now? He's claiming, I don't know anymore. I don't care. We are in unprecedented territory, uncharted waters. High risk. The back suplex off the top. Star feels it. He smells the blood in the water, if you will. He smells the blood on his hand and in his mouth, he tastes it. You say high risk, I say the highest possible reward for David Starr. A baptism of blood for the brand new ring canvas here for the fifth anniversary. Boot to the jaw connects. Oh, reversal! That could be it! Center the ring! One! One count yet again! No! Absolutely brutal! It's over! Just the two count. Devlin's still alive. Staff! Staff finally gets himself a two count, but it should have been a three count for anybody else! Two thousand on their feet! Oh! He's hooked him! Backslide! Three! Super kick to the downed opponent. Waist lock, arms trapped. Stacks Devlin, bridges up. Two. Oh. Still just a two count. Stars losing it. He's playing in Foxy. Unwise to tackle our official now, Fox. Unwise to come this far and lose by DQ. Fox is big enough to handle himself. He's not ringing that bell anytime soon. He's giving this crowd what they want. These men are settling this one way or another for one last time in this ring, in this room tonight. And I'm sorry, Jordan Devlin. But David Starr is a hair's breadth from winning this one. Devon still down, still losing blood. Referee now Fox looking to ensure that he can continue. David Starr collapsing outside the ring now. Look at Starr crawling towards the OTT goal, the World Championship. Taking the title from Butch, holding it high. A little premature 
from David Starr to a chorus of boos and cheers. The prize that David Starr covets more than anything, more than the friendship with Jordan, more than a contract, more than money. Devlin's still down, TK. But Angus, this is what the OTT World Championship means. in independent professional wrestling. That ain't Homer talk. That's truth. Devlin on Green Street still trying to muster the strength. But this is a DQ to come this far. What a waste. Will Devlin welcome it? Would he welcome the bell shot to the head just to get out of here with the gold angles? Would he? We saw him will Foxy to count that count out earlier on. I think at this stage, Devlin will take a win any way he can. The powder keg of emotions boils over. It will just take one spark to ignite. Oh, oh super kick connects. The title falls to Devlin. It now becomes his choice. Tony. Here's a proposition. Judging by this crowd, I don't think it's a stretch to say if either man wins, we run. Indeed. But now the choice falls. Does Devlin become the clear cut villain? Or does he choose the high road and remain the hero? If this crowd want to cast him as the villain, why not give them what they paid for then? Get out of here oh, with I your title. It. I love it, Angus McAnally, because I agree. Hit him with it, Jordan! Capitalist pig, he says. Calling him on. By any means necessary, Devlin. He spat on the belt. Star wants Devlin to betray his morals. More than he wants it to oh, low blow! Low blow! No way! Not today! Not in the National Stadium! Not in OTT! What the hell's gonna happen? 2000 on their feet. 2002 on their feet. The belt to the outside. Shattering. The belt. Referee no Fox is down. Low blow in return. And it's the belt symbolically shatters off the ground. David Starr's testicle shatter on Jordan Devlin's boot. He took the low road. Who cares, Jordan? Win the match, man. Who cares about the... Oh, he laughs. I love it, Jordan. It's time, Devlin. Package pile driver. Game over. Who cares what road you take when you're the OTT champion? Well done, Jordan. One, two, no. And this place comes unglued. And as independent t-shirts come from the Mac Slappers, the irony of a slow Nile Fox count saves David Starr. It's poetry in wrestling! The hottest crowd anywhere in wrestling. The hottest feud anywhere in wrestling. And as I said earlier, David Starr a hair's breath from ending this match. Now it's Jordan Devlin a hair's breath, Angus. The right hand sends David Starr to his knees. Oh! Hooks him, cranks on it. The ultimate way to win in Dublin! Make Jordan Devlin crown you! There's champion. no way! There's no way he'll tap! There's no way he'll tap! It's not in him! Oh! 
Reaching for the rope, Tony. Oh, Angus, be impartial. Reaching for the rope. Be impartial. He tapped the mat. What does that mean? Single tap is not enough to do it. You know it as well as I do. Angus. That wasn't a tap. That was a man reaching for the rope. Well, unfortunately, we don't have VAR here. And if Angus McEnany won't say it, I'll say it. To me, it looks like Jordan Devlin tapped out. I'm sorry. Stan's got a groin right there. And as the blood streams down Jordan Devlin's face, he shakes his head as he looks at the crowd who once adored him. Cheer for David Starr. The final chapter, a fitting tribute to the most compelling war we've ever witnessed, Tony. But it ain't over yet. Oh my God. Christ almighty, no way. Devlin reverses. Oh, headbook connects. It's over. It's over. No, oh. it's not. Not it. Stacks him. No way now. No way now. Lariat from hell. One. One. That's the caliber of spirit in Jordan Devlin. That's the fighter. Oh my word! Two! It's oh over! God. Unbelievable oh scenes! God. David Starr has done it! David Starr has beaten the benchmark! The OTT world title is independent! What have we seen, Angus? In the same spot, we almost wept for Devlin on Paddy's day. We watched these sheep fall at the feet of our new champion, David Starr. Look at the ring canvas, it's rippling with the heat waves from this audience. This is incredible. And from Joe Jett to the animals to Marilyn Manson, but it doesn't matter the sound you hear coming from the speakers that feeling you feel is new champion and it's David Star and you must be sick in this McAnally sucking the blood of Jordan Devlin and they cheer the cheap shot these people they never fool me again or fool anybody else again standing on his vanquished opponent holding OTT gold high David Starr the product is our new champion the self-proclaimed new import killer kills the import that never was these people are the bad guys but David Starr is your champion. This is ours, he says. This is yours. We did this together, he said. The man of the people. No Fox doesn't get to raise his hand. Where's the... There we go. These people want to say poetry and wrestling. Unionize, Karl Marx, whatever your political leanings, this is a display that hasn't been seen since Waco, since Jonestown. This is a cult, this is unsettling, but this is the new era in OTT. A new era indeed, a changing of the guard for so long. Jordan Devlin has been our benchmark at home, abroad, nationally, internationally. But now's not a time to talk to Jordan Devlin. Now's the time to recognize our new champion, David Starr.
and how harrowing is it? How telling is it? No, uh, no locker room is empty this time. That tells you at home what you need to know about what people behind the scenes think of David Starr. But that don't matter. These people seem to love him. And love him, hate him. You call him champion. I call him champion. Hey, you smack a nanny. You call him champion, please. Our new OGT world champion. The product, David Starr. Oh, look at this. Unbelievable. Waco. Jonestown. The National Stadium. What? I have never seen anything like this carried high on the shoulders of his army of incels from standing jealously heartbroken on that stage to be carried by the very people that booed him and cheered Devlin I have never seen a 180 like this look at him lying back messianic messianic indeed being proud stuff around these people why aren't you running to the ring this time, Angus? And as I contemplate joining the people, crowd serving them, just to end some support from OTT to our new champion. Flabbergasted. Unbelievable scenes in Dublin's National Stadium. You call it, Tony. It's a new era. God knows where this is going to lead us. We talk about a changing of the guard. I feel this is a changing of something much more fundamental. A springing David Star step, not seen since Nick Tivoli when he sprung out to the sounds of Pat Benatar. For the first time in maybe a year and a half, he's happy. A remarkable night to mark five years of incredible pro wrestling action. The little promotion that caused Ireland's own OTT as David Starr kisses Sean Ryan. And you gotta say, Tony, the legacy of the last five years, those two men, Sean Ryan and David Starr, absolutely fundamental and pivotal to it. But tonight belongs to that man, your yes, new champ, David yes, Starr. Indeed. Happy birthday, OTT. Welcome to your new era. Welcome to your sixth year. Welcome to your new world champion, David Starr.